What is going on, everybody? How's it going? Hopefully, everybody's having a fantastic day. I know I am. Hanging out, uh, setting up the studio a little bit. Get a little bit of a live stream going. Got a bit of a fun one here. We're going to try out in, in a second here. I'll let you guys uh, get some time in. Time to get here. And uh, we're going to try out the ghost pepper hers potato chips. I'm a huge fan of hers. I've been eating, eating them since I was a kid. They're always fantastic. Uh, my favorite really is sour cream and onion. And um, well, I got two favorites, sour cream and onion and uh, garlic. That garlic, uh, I'm thinking of a different chip, uh, salt and vinegar. Uh, two of uh, my most favorite uh, chips that uh, I've ever had. I still buy them today. I go to, quite all, I go to Wawa a lot down here. And, um, I get them a lot. They're just uh, delicious. What is going on, Joe? How's it going? Uh, had a lot of fun yesterday on your uh, Sunday fun day. Or, was it? Yeah, Sunday fun day. Yeah. I'm lost track of time. Today's Monday. So I'm going to try these out here a little bit. You guys can see them. I got both cams going. Probably get it's a pain in the butt to uh, get a lot of springs going. Everything spicy. What's going on? Yeah, great tasting shit. We're going to try these out here in a little bit. I'm going to try them out. Uh, first time I actually, actually saw them, um, so I figured I'd you know, give them a shot. I've had pretty much every uh, hers chip uh, you can possibly have, uh, I think. And uh, they're all good. I like salt and vinegar and uh, sour cream. And onion. I'm going to try these out. I heard these are pretty good. How's it going? So we're going to try these out here in about five or six minutes. I'm going to get let, let a chance for everybody to get in here. And uh, do a little bit of streaming. Uh, do a little bit of surfing the web here for a second and um, get some stuff going here. I'm trying to make some ideas on some other other stuff to try out here. And, uh, of course, we're going to do uh, Saturday. We're going to do our Saturday grill out this coming Saturday. It should be fun. If you guys want to come up uh, on Saturday and grill out with us or just, just hang out, you don't even have to even grill. You're more than welcome. Hope, to, hope I showed your friend, Gordon. Yeah, oh, yeah, that was awesome, man. Yeah, uh, Linda's she's awesome. Her stuff is crazy, man. She showed me a picture of all her uh, hot peppers that she was growing at Harveston. She's got some crazy stuff. But uh, she, she definitely appreciated it. That was awesome. Thanks, Seth. Appreciate you for doing that. She has uh, a lot of amazing stuff. So, you know, she's definitely worth sharing out because she has a lot of knowledge in um, the spicy foods category and just, you know, and peppers in general, too. She's very, very smart. Uh, definitely appreciate it. Everything spicy. How's it going? How you been doing? Uh, uh, let's see here. So... Saturday, I'm going to be doing probably some, uh, probably going to do a lunch thing for Saturday. I'm, I'm going to do probably a lunch item. I might even do a steak Saturday. I'm not sure what anybody else is going to do, but uh, that should be fun. Uh, let's check out this, uh, check out these chips. You guys uh, all know, you guys from Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, New Jersey area, all know what these, what hers is. I want to check out these chips. I'm going to open this bag up. Get a... I get a little bit of spice to them, but uh, initial smell. I do smell salt and pepper, pepper, and that just that regular potato chip uh, smell to them. Uh, let's go over the ingredients here real quick, if we can. Uh, first ingredient is potato, vegetable oil. Uh, what do we got? We got sunflower seasonings, pepper, ghost pepper, chili, Dextrose, sugar, onion powder, garlic powder, yeast extract, tortilla yeast, natural flavoring, citric acid, vinegar, and salt. All no crazy names, spices, you know, or ingredients. So it's going to be a, a great one. Two and a half servings in this. That's a lie for me. I can eat this bag uh, in one sitting, really. Let's go over the uh, packaging is really cool. Got the big ghost pepper with in the background here got the uh heat level right here all the way up to the top that's probably not gonna be the case for me my heat tolerance is very high right now i've been uh going at it pretty hard with uh hot stuff all right let's check out what these look, these look like so you guys can check them out let's pour them out here on the 
on the board here. Let me uh, switch the camera so you guys can get a better view. This my cell phone camera. It's not the greatest thing on the planet. It looks like a regular, pretty much like a regular potato chip. Uh, you can kind of see a little bit of pepper on there, pepper flakes. I don't see any red peppers on here, any kind of red pepper flakes. But these should be pretty interesting. Let me flip the cameras back around. All right, let's give away one of, one of these a try, see what these taste like. You get the salt, black pepper taste right off the bat. Regular potato chip taste. I get uh, actually no heat, actually, which is surprising. Grand my heat tolerance is very high right now. I get a little bit of the ghost pepper taste, not really any heat. I have a slight tingle. I bet I eat the, if I eat this entire bag, I might get a little bit of a tingle. I definitely get the good taste of um, the pepper itself, onions and garlic. I definitely can taste that. I mean, more or less, it's, you know, just a, I mean, granted, my heat level is very high, so I can't really taste something like this. Heat level, I probably have to eat, like, just eat the whole bag at once. Okay, that one had a little bit more heat to it. I mean, it, the chips taste amazing. I mean, they're amazing chips. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie on that. As far as heat goes, for me, I don't taste anything. My friend Dana is asking, you ever try one of the Hot Ones brands of sauces? I love watching Hot Ones. Um, Hot Ones. No, nah. I've had. Uh, actually, yes. Um. I've had the bomb insanity sauce, uh, I think, what, about a year ago? <clears throat> I'm out of it now. I used it all up. But uh, the bomb, uh, Beyond Insanity, it's, that, it's actually not really a sauce. It's an extract. But uh, I did drink that on one of my buddies' live streams, uh, Pigskin Blitz, um, I think, what was that, about a year ago, six months, a year ago. Uh, as far as the brand name Hot Ones, no, I have not tried that yet. Um, but I can definitely, um, I can definitely look into getting one. Uh, but yeah, uh, Hot Ones is cool. I like watching that show. It kind of, um, some of the sauces on there are kind of more gimmicky though. Cause, uh, I actually, no, I'm, I'm lying. I haven't tried them on this channel. I did try the last dab. It wasn't really hot at all. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not trying to. I don't know the pain tolerances of everybody that's on the show. I mean, I see some people like crying in agony with that sauce, and then some people are, you know, obviously their tolerance levels maybe higher or lower. But uh, I try the last dab myself, and it's not really hot at all. It does taste amazing. It does have, um, what was that one? It has saffron in it, and um, that sauce is very unique flavoring because uh, you don't really see too many sauces with saffron in them. And uh, I remember when I tried that, it was – I mean, it had some heat to it. I'm not going to lie. It's, I mean, it was probably about a one or two on my level. It's not very hot. I mean, it tastes amazing. But, uh, yeah, I have tried that. Um, I'll have to try to get that. Maybe I'll try getting that last dab, and I'll bring it on here, and I'll show you guys what it tastes like or help you out describe it. But uh, kind of a yes and no question on that one. But, yeah, I'll definitely get on the show, and we can check it out. Great show, uh, Hot Ones. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, I know a lot of you guys are on um, – YouTube. I'm not sure if you guys can see uh, my Facebook uh, friends on here. They're uh, messaging me too. I'm doing two live streams. I'm not sure. You probably can't see um, their comments on there. I'm not sure how that works. This is kind of, this is my fourth live stream, I think. So uh, yeah, if you guys can't, um, I'll try to loop you in. My, my friend Dana just asked me that question on Hot Ones. But uh, awesome question. Uh, great channel too. Uh, so as far as these go, I will say as far as heat on these, it's um, as far as heat goes, 
I'm going to say, I, I mean, as much as I love, I love Curry's potato chips. Uh, I love the company. You know, it's a U.S. company, and they um, everything gets recycled, even their bags get recycled. I don't know if you guys know that history about them. I've actually done quite a bit of research on uh, hers throughout my, I guess, my chip career of eating junk food. Uh, as far as he goes, I'm going to say that's a probably zero out of ten. Uh, not very hot at all. But, I mean, again, uh, it's kind of hard for me to judge, you know, because I'm way up here, whereas some people might be down here. So, as far as heat for me, it's not very hot. I mean, ghost chilies are supposed to be, you know, pretty hot. So, I would, I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit hotter. I mean, even just giving me like a, just something. But uh, as far as heat on that, it's got to, I have to give it a zero. As far as presentation goes, the labeling and the packaging is awesome. It's how they traditionally do most of the packaging. I like how they got like ghost pepper mix, uh, mix flavor on here and the pepper itself on here. And yeah, they're awesome hers classic label up here and they got the hot with the potato chips on the side here. That's awesome. They actually look just like the chip, which is really cool. I mean, they've really got that down. So as far as packaging and all that stuff goes, I have to give them a 10 out of 10, 10, out of 10 on this. They got their ingredients on here, other information. Their guarantee over here, and then they got their a little bit of a family story on usually on their the company here. This one actually I've kind of read already is uh, how they develop this potato chip in particular, which is pretty cool, you know. So I got to give them a ten out of ten as far as you know the displays, but you know it's overall heat. I, I was kind of expecting a little bit more, you know, not to hate on hers. I love hers. You guys know that. So as far as that, you know, it's, it's I got to give it a goose egg on that one, but overall. You know, the product's amazing. You know, I'm not going to say don't get these chips. I mean, you guys might like them. It might actually be a little bit hotter for you than, than myself. Uh, this thing is, you know, it's no heat at all. I mean, I can probably eat this entire bag, and it probably wouldn't even maybe get to a one. It might get to, like, a maybe a half a point. <laughs> but uh, awesome stuff, though. It was uh, definitely fun to try out hers products. You know, I love hers. And, you know, whenever they come out with a new product, I like to, you know, try to get it as fast as I possibly can. And um, it's always fun and exciting to do. And I love potato chips. You know, I'm a, I'm a kind of a junk food, you know, kind of person. I try not to be, though, because it's not really good for you. But uh, super fun, though. Uh, appreciate uh, all our new uh, viewers coming in today. Uh, Dana, awesome to uh, hear from you. And everything spicy, great to see you in here hanging out with us. Puga Homestead, always a pleasure to see you. I think I said your name right. You know, I remember Joe telling me about it. Doing that with the, uh, the Toga party with, uh, what is that show? Animal, I think it was Animal House. So I always kind of keep it in my head so I say it right. But, uh, yeah, so awesome stuff. Um, I do, so this review was super fun. Uh, definitely excited. I'm going to get some more uh, hers brands. I, I know there's new uh, hers potato chips coming out. So I definitely want to definitely get the other varieties. And we'll definitely check those out. I am going to be doing a uh, another uh, review today. Probably about another... Mm, another hour, hour and a half. We're gonna do a uh, actually a a seltzer uh, beer review. I wanted to do a beer review for uh, quite a quite a bit. Want to try out, see how that goes. I'm not really, a, I've never really reviewed beers. You know, I, I mean, I, I like a lot of beers, but we're gonna definitely try that out. Uh, it's, it's a seltzer. We're gonna try that out in probably about an hour, hour and a half. I wanted to go outside and uh, set up the cameras out there, and um, that'll be fun. What's going on, Court? Dustin, how's it going? SoundQuest, trying to catch up. See if I, Arsenic, what's going on, brother? How's work? How's everybody's uh, work today? Hope you guys are almost done, or hopefully you're at least having a good day at work. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, I got everybody, I think. I'm in here. Uh, yeah, that's it. So cool. Um, appreciate you guys coming in. Um, I'm going to shut this down so I can get ready for the next review and uh, we get more stuff to go. I'm going to definitely go outside and uh, I got to check on my plants again because we did get another uh, pretty killer storm. So I'll do a, a quick, I'll do a quick short video when I'm out there and I'll show you guys what's going on. I do have to fix some plants out that out front. Uh, they kind of got whiplash or so they're all kind of uh, laying on that side, but they're not too, they're not damaged or anything. They're just kind of like in shock. So, uh, yeah, Dustin, if you want to jump on and do a beer review, uh, we can definitely uh, do a beer review. Just let me know. Um, hour and a, hour and a half, maybe, you know, two hours. I mean, I'm going to try and see if I can get some stuff done here. 
I got to fix my plants a little bit out front here. I got to get them because they're all whiplashed and uh, get that up. Uh, what is, did I miss something? Let's see if I missed a comment here. Comments are, it's weird. It's like my stream yard thing is like bugging out on me. Kevin, what's going on? So yeah, I got the, the big crazy storm. It uh, getting damaged. Twelve of my plants. Just put them on their side. So I gotta fix them up somehow. I gotta get uh, more stakes. I don't. I, I unfortunately ran out, and uh, I wiped out Home Depot and Lowe's down the down the street. So I'm waiting for them to get more. But uh, awesome. Uh, so Dustin, I'll uh, contact you here when we get off the live stream. Uh, we'll do we'll do a beer review. It should be fun. Uh, I'm gonna do a, a bunch more. I did get a. a couple more uh, unique beers. I'm going to do those uh, throughout the week. I'm going to try that out and uh, interlace some different stuff in here. I definitely want to do some more cooking videos. Um, I do uh, enjoy our Saturday uh, cooking video. Uh, it's fun. I want to start maybe getting into more of that. Maybe I'll start interlacing some. Uh, once I get my pepper powders in, uh, once I start doing those, I'm going to definitely start putting those in a bunch of foods and trying them out. They should be uh, fun and super hot. I uh, actually tried this morning. I didn't do it a live stream because it was just super early in the morning. Uh, I ate a Carolina Reaper this morning at uh, six o'clock this morning, and it was uh, it was frozen because I had those ones from Linda, and uh, they were starting to go bad, so I had to freeze them. So I took one out of the bag that was frozen, and I just popped it in and ate it. And it was just as hot as it would be if it was fresh off the uh, plant. So, but I just wanted to try it out and see what those taste like. They're crazy hot. Uh, it probably got to about a, about a four heat level, uh, but yeah, it was super cool, super cool, and it's cool to see that um, freezing your uh, peppers doesn't you don't lose any of the uh, the oil, which makes sense because I guess oil wouldn't really freeze really more or less, but uh, should be really cool. All right, well, I'm gonna uh, shut this down. Uh, I will see you guys in about an hour, or hour and a half, two hours, and um, we'll see you guys then. Have a good one. Thanks, guys, for joining me again. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, my name is Matt. Thanks for coming again, and I'll see you guys shortly. I will see you here in about an hour, hour and a half.